I didn't uh, intend to make a video about this, or at least I, I didn't plan to, but I had the camera out already and I figured maybe some people have never used a jeweler's loop, or maybe some people have never seen a carbide insert up close. Uh, both are only maybe a little bit interesting, so let's not get too excited here, but I got this loop off of Amazon. It was somewhere between 5 and $10 shipped, I think probably closer to 5 and it says it's a 40X. I don't know if that's true, but it comes in a case, so that's something. And you also get this tool, which is supposed to be used to remove the uh, battery cover. Uh, I imagine this battery is going to last forever, and I certainly hope so, because this tool doesn't work. Uh, probably some snap ring pliers would get that open, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, uh, the point of my buying it was to take a look at this insert. I knew it was damaged, and I could feel that it was dull, but I was curious what it actually looked like. I was surprised that my camcorder gave me such a good, focused, zoomed-in shot, but, uh, you know, it's handier to have a small loop in your toolbox than it is to break out the camcorder every time. So this is probably what you could expect to see if you were holding the loop up to your eye and just looking at the uh, insert. Uh, one thing to note is there's a very shallow depth of field, so when you get the tip in focus, um, an eighth of an inch behind the tip will be out of focus. And it actually kind of hurt my eyes after uh, using it for a couple of minutes. Uh, probably also a result of just being a very cheap loop. Um, anyway, out of, I guess, boredom, here's a picture of my camera. This is how I had it set up when I filmed that. Anyway, uh, there's a link in the description for the loop I bought on Amazon. If you're looking for one and that link no longer works, then I'm sure any cheap loop would get the job done. I do recommend the LED, LED though. That is uh, kind of handy. So, anyway, thanks for watching.